We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Ryan Hayes, Miami Dolphins' seventh-round draft pick. He played left tackle at Michigan, but I just see his skill set translating to be a left guard at the next level. Uh, I think due to lack of length and high-end athleticism, he's not going to, you know, be able to hang at the next level with top-tier edge rushers, so he... He's going to, you know, want to be moved to guard, I think, to really have the best chance of making this team. And I think he has a chance of making this team even as a seventh-round draft pick just because of the lack of depth on the Dolphins' offensive line and, you know, even lack of starters, really. So he has a chance of making the team as a guard, I think. Or another realistic option is just being in the practice squad and then getting elevated to the roster once injuries happen. So I see him really do well as a run blocker. He understands how he's really good at climbing to the second level, taking great angles, he has really good hand usage, like technically sound, especially as a run blocker, he's very technically sound. In pass pro, he's pretty technically sound as well. That's probably where he's at his best. He does have a weird thing he does with, out of his kick step in his pass sets that is a little concerning, but he does a great job in the running game, creating movement, displacement. He strains, he sustains his blocks, understands how to kick out, use his leverage, and just win, and it's a pretty fun thing to watch him go to work. Uh, when he's run blocking uh, number 76 coming out of Michigan Ryan Hayes solid player that you can get in the seventh round I know people wanted offensive line um, I don't think he's like some absolute stud but I think he could be like he's a solid seventh round pick I'm not mad about it I think he has a chance if he's developed if really developed and does well in the development I think he could be like an average guard at the next level you know down the line in a few years Got him right here, number 76. We're going to start with this play. Just him instantly climbing to the second level to meet a DB out in space, which is pretty impressive. Like, not just blocking a DB. Like, he creates sustain here, leg drive. But he does a good job just meeting a DB out in space. It's not easy for offensive linemen to get a clean, you know, hit on DBs like this. But, you know, he gets a solid base right here, hands into the chest. And then once he gets in complete control, he starts to drive, leg drive. You can see him sustain this it's just pretty impressive that he even you know got out there into space and he created this big lane and plus instantly look where he kind of meets him right here he's kind of even with the defensive line but he's able to sort of flip his hips to cut him off and allow to you know work out into space and then drive him back so just an impressive rep out in space second level moving i feel like that's probably where he's most comfortable he's got that type of athleticism he's got the guard athleticism where he's good at pulling moving on space but not when he's like going backwards in a pass set right here the left tackle second guy from the end of the line of scrimmage and he just does a really good job of understanding how to use like hip torque to kick out and move people to the ground like just combining his hips his feet with his hands right here once he gets control and this guy attacks that outside half of him he just completely uses that right hand to like extend it get full power he has heavy hands strong at the point of attack and then flip those hips torque him to the ground and finish he has a nasty play style to him which i like that's why you know i see him more as a guard at the next level too doesn't have that you know uh top tier athleticism and length you want to see him on an island we'll get to some pass pro reps to see uh some decent reps from him as a tackle but i just see it more translating to guard at the next level versus better edge guys he's right here he does a good job of creating movement um, when it's like third and one, fourth and one, or like goal to go type of situations. He gets low. He has good leverage out of his stance. Sometimes he plays too high, especially in pass pro. But right here, he gets out low and then just creates movement, sustains. He even tries to kick him out. But once this defensive lineman starts to go to the ground, he just sort of drives him down, finishes the block again. Love a guy that can finish those blocks and just pretty impressive staying this low, but in control. Like, look how low the Penn State defender gets, but he ends up getting too low that he goes to the ground uh, instantly, but he maintains his balance in haze and then finishes on top of the defender. So impressive look there. Uh, and good good job with his hands too, to keep himself up. Uh, impressive rep there from Hayes in a third and one situation. Here we get a rep in pass pro and actually get to see him sort of process a twist, and stunts, those types of things. He does a pretty good job like mentally in those areas. And this is like where you can see that he can win. Uh, he's not like just one-on-one -on -one out on the edge. This is where you can see it type this type of play translate to be as a guard because he doesn't have a, a lot of space here he's pretty tight with 77 his left guard and then this defensive tackle just goes right into his chest and you can see he gets very tight with him there's no space created with length and he knows that he has pretty short arms like for a tackle he has short arms so he just gets his hands into the chest here and now he's just in complete control and he doesn't want you know he's like since he's in complete control he's anchoring he has a good base uh, he's playing a little too upright, I would say, but he's just in control with his hands to the chest, and he doesn't want the defensive lineman to create that space 
use the length advantage he has on him so pretty nuanced technical play there understanding your opponent and what he's trying to do um also his kick step like you can kind of see it here that, like the example i'm really thinking of like, when he gets out of his stance he doesn't like shoot out he's pretty slow like heavy feet uh which i don't like that outside foot really just doesn't get out far enough uh which i think you know it won't have to if he plays guard at the next level but this is the tackle that first step really concerns me with how i would see him playing at the next level versus higher end athletes at the edge position he really makes run blocking look very easy he's very natural at it just simple stuff right here kick him out get your leverage instantly so he meets him at the point of attack here good base good bend in the lower half hands go straight into the chest everything's clean from his technical standpoint and then he just starts to turn him just get those hips out turn him to the outside and now you're completely making this open lane for your running back here on a third and two situation this is very clean everything is perfect here from ryan hayes and then once you know this guy starts to try to break back to the inside he just starts to you know drive him sustain really good stuff there just letting you know the defensive lineman almost do the work for you he wants to set the edge okay i'm gonna you know turn you out and create this space for my running back pass pro again left tackle right here i mean look at the first step like he takes these false steps as left tackle this is more of what i was talking about he does this a lot where that first step like like instantly he takes two quick choppy steps with his left foot right here but it's got to be farther back at more of like a 45 degree angle and obviously it depends on what type of set you're doing like your vertical set 45 degree set jump set but even with any of those sets this type of footwork isn't exactly right for any of those and then he also like falls up like goes forward like his left foot and right foot are not in unison at all but he still ends up having a good rep he's able to maintain this he creates he maintains a half man relationship with this guy shows a solid anchor good job of resetting his hands he's got good hand usage stays uh yeah you can see good base there too just everything like after the initial step ends up being good technical savvy play it's just that first initial step he needs some work on and obviously it won't matter as much at guard because you're not going to be trying to you know huge kick step out when you're the left guard or right guard whatever he ends up playing at the next level this play just shows off some pop in his hands like i don't even think he's trying to really do this to this outside linebacker he's really just trying you know because when it comes to offensive line, I feel like people are like, oh, you just got to be super powerful, displace these guys. And, but really, it's more about positioning, leverage, and just creating lanes. You don't need to create a huge bunch of displacement. But you can just see that he has some power, like just shooting those hands to the chest. Number 11, I don't know what he's doing with his hands. He just gets wides. But you can see the power just completely put him on his back right there, which is very nice to be that heavy-handed type of player. Uh, you don't really need to be this type of guy as an offensive tackle, but as a guard, that's super, super helpful. I like to open pass pro. Again, another similar situation where he's kind of taking some weird steps there in his pass set. Just, you know, initially he starts going back, but then the left foot starts going forward again. It doesn't make any sense how it works there. But he's on an island. Number 44, he has a little help with the chip on the outside. So this guy, he knows he can, you know, maintain this inside leverage right here. And... He just basically squares them up. He maintains a good base. And then look how he resets his hands here. This is good, nuanced offensive line play, especially when you have shorter arms like this. He has short arms, so he knows uh, 44 definitely has the longer arms. And once he creates a little bit of a push here, he's able to reset that hand and then re-anchor instantly. Boom, choppy steps, anchors, holds him at the point of attack. This is an impressive rep that I like, especially translating to the inside. The ability to reset your hands versus guys who are stronger than you and then anchor quickly or they're stronger and longer uh mostly longer but he's able to you know get himself back into a good positioning highly nuanced savvy play there from ryan hayes he does a good job with his patience uh in pass pro he does the false step thing again but he stays very patient with his hands at least he allows the defensive lineman to sort of do whatever they're gonna do sort of set this up but he doesn't really get overextended either has some nice knee bend here uh pretty much everything is nice to bend the base stays patient waits, waits for them to shoot their hands and then boom gets his hands inside the chest very good placement very good timing his use of hands is very good definitely the thing i'm most comfortable with him is his hands as a run blocker and in pass pro which is obviously a huge thing for an offensive lineman uh it's going to be a lot tougher for him at the next level you know facing top tier edge rush types guys who are more athletic that's why I just don't think he's going to be able to do it with that lack of length. Doesn't have the top tier athleticism to play tackle. 
maybe down the line years down the line that could happen and honestly i don't think you know usually when you're spending on a seventh round alignment that you're switching position it's not going to be a year one thing not probably not even a year two thing but maybe year three he develops and becomes a, a you know decent starting guard for you and he might even have to play this year just due to the the that sort of position on the offensive line it doesn't look too great for the dolphins last play that i'm gonna break down for ryan hayes we got him here just creating some movement in the running game and just knows how to use it's just a very savvy play from him knows how to use his leverage he gets in control right here he's completely squared up with this defensive lineman and you can just see him he understands how to you know kick out use his hips create torque he pushes that left hand out create this lane just gets his back for the running back exactly what you want he's in he's sustaining he's straining really good job using the torque of your upper half your shoulder and your hips combined with active feet right here you can see his feet are getting active to kick this out create this lane good he just really understands uh, his job as a run blocker um, in zone duo he can even do some polling stuff on gap scheme runs i would like to see how that ends up working out i think he's a good fit in the dolphins offense of what they want to do at the next level uh, and just sort of you know he is a guy that could like down block and create this because they're pulling towards to his side so he wants to create this so then they can kick out here this is his job to pull this guy down and when he's sort of like he's basically head up with him like this defensive lineman has slight inside leverage but they're basically head up they meet square at the point of attack and he's still able to you know do exactly what he needs to do just combining feet with hips with his upper body his hands everything working in unison to finish this impressive run block play uh so yeah i like how this pick at least in the seventh round what he could develop into possibly being a guard for the team it won't be an immediate impact so don't expect that you don't it's not usually that's how it is for seventh round picks um and uh yeah so let me know this is the last draft pick the dolphins made in the draft let me know if there's any like udfas you want me to break down because they got a lot of them and if i can find film i'll try to do some breakdown on some guys if you want to see that or just any other players on the dolphins in general that i haven't gone to this off season yet um, and try to get to, you know, a lot of the players we had last season before the next season starts. Or just any other videos you want to see in general, let me know down in the comments. And uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.